I'm perfectly willing to use force with these guys if they even threaten it with us. More than willing. Would rather welcome the chance, actually, to do it. <laughs> I'm going to have a thin time doing it if my allies on the left are making excuses for Islamic Jihad all the while and discrediting their own democracy and isolating themselves within civil society. It, it, the fact of the matter is that you either oppose religious dictatorship and its terrorist surrogates everywhere without distinction, whether it's messianic settlers on the West Bank or Christian nutbags trying to teach us that uh, we trod the earth the same time as the dinosaurs or the forces of jihad. You either oppose this kind of thing, root and branch, or you don't. And I'm sorry to say that the anti-war left has failed the test. It has made excuses for our totalitarian and theocratic enemies. It has said that Mr. Bin Laden is the ventriloquist of long forgotten Muslim grievances. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. I'll tell you what the grievances are. The grievance of seeing an undraped female face. The grievance of having a Christian or a Jew or a non-believer living on your soil that you claim is Muslim soil. The horror of having lost the Islamic Caliphate. The empire you want back. These are not anti-imperialists. The people who want back a lost empire. The people who blew up uh, harmless partygoers in Bali because Australia had helped to liberate East Timor from Indonesian oppression. And East Timor is a Christian population and, and Indonesia is Muslim. High on the list of Bin Laden's grievances, the outrage of our help for East Timor. Yes, they have grievances, yeah. But it's nothing to the grievance we have with them. And it should be we who they are afraid of. It should be our opinion that they are made to care about. We should make it known to them that we too have unalterable values, that yes, we do care about the Enlightenment, and we do care about the defense of our values and institutions under any government. Two minutes. Under any government, and that failing to say this is apologetics and possibly worse.